Hi, I'm Tony from Safety Mits and I just want to show you a little bit about our zero gravity workshop trolley system just on the setup um, and just a couple of things about it. So this is our standard workshop trolley system. Uh, it has a tool payload of 19 kilos. It's what we call a single arm because it has a single zero G arm. So on the setup, what we tend to make sure, and this is a common practice that I've done, is that on the outriggers with the wheels, these are lockable, so they're nylon wheels and they're lockable. I have, always have them pointing out. Um, this gives a little bit more stability in the, um, in the trolley when you're in operation. Um, sturdy handle, we have a winch operation. So before startup, I'm just checking, you know, the bolts are all still nice and locked in. The, the winch goes up and down, it works sufficiently. Uh, the gravity latch, making sure it works. The arm. Uh, just, just generally having a bit of a check to make sure that everything's locked into position. So this all looks okay. So what we have here is our standard universal pigtail uh, tool holder. Comes with a variety of different types of straps. And on here we have a, looks like a Kuken uh, three quarter inch drive rattle gun. Um, just to make sure that you're getting the maximum efficiency out of the tool arm itself, it's really imperative that you actually make sure that it's adjusted correctly. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to take it out of the, the gravity latch. So I've set this one up, but see how the arm is on the horizontal. Now I can move this with two fingers. Um, so you have 430 millimetres of dynamic movement of the arm. The critical thing with making sure that you're getting the most efficiency out of the tool is that to position the arm, so this is on the horizontal, and then you're working in the same plane as your job. So think about on a D10 dozer when you're doing a grouser plate change out. You're going to position your bucket at a certain height withstand using all the, the right safety setups. And what you'll do, and most, this isn't the right tool arm for that job, we have a bespoke tool arm for that particular task. What you'll do is you'll set the arm up so this is at the right height, so you're going to have the arm on the horizontal, then you have the maximum amount of, of movement. Um, you can always tell when the tool isn't adjusted correctly, is that when you tend to let go, if this stays on the horizontal, you have maximum efficiency in the use of the tool. If you let go of this and the arm rises, you actually have too much spring tension. So you're overcompensating the load of the tool. Um, and what you'll have to do there is that in your, your use of energy, you're going to be pulling the tool down to operate in the right plane. Conversely, if you don't have enough spring tension on the arm, it will be hanging down. So therefore, what you'll have to do is that you'll have to be lifting the tool to meet up with the job that you're working on. Uh, in this particular case, you're rattling off nuts, going back to the D10 dozer example, you're rattling off nuts. Um, at a particular plane because once you've got the bucket put on the stands then the, uh, the nuts are going to be all on the same plane so it's all very simple so you'd be able to manoeuvre this tool just by fingers so you'd be you'd less energy exerted so here we are this is the the safety mit zero g workshop trolley system it has a uh, a 19 kilo tool payload we have a 1.4 meter reach on the tool and basically we have a 2.8 meter working arc envelope and this is a 1.4 meter high trolley so uh, just going back make sure that you always position the arm um, on the height of the job so what we'll do here you can use the lift pull up or down and just make sure it's positioned so if you need any more information um, please visit our website which is uh, safetymits.com or have a look at some of the other videos that we have on our YouTube channel. Thanks very much for looking.